Hello, people. I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Mad Max Reeves. Not mad at all. And Russian. Ajar Kirk. And we're going to look at Rogan Josh. Rogan? Rogan Josh? Rogan, Rogan Josh. Josh. Rogan Josh. It's a dish, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe it is. And it stars Nasirud and Shah, who I very, very much appreciate from a Wednesday and many uh, short films and movies. ZMND. It says from Royal Stag Barrel Select Large Short Films. Thank you so much for allowing us to react to this. Always appreciate that. Love your short films so, so much. Here we go. Let's check this out. This is your first Royal Stag Large Short Film. First ever. Case. And uh, for Achara and I, this is our. Um... <laughs> Says you. Everybody oh, that's cool. Real. No, I've never cooked with a pressure cooker before. Cooking and drinking. That's what you do. Mm -hmm. That's how you cook well. Yeah, some for the pot, some for me. Just don't cut an avocado. <laughs> like Jabby. After all, I'm the best they could ever have. Stop being so modest, darling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Oh. Well, it is your 65th birthday, no? Mm -hmm. So, cha, the old man deserves a hug. Old man, I would have proved you <laughs> wrong tonight. Shh. Oh. Anyway, you did prove that, no? 30 years ago by giving us Varun. Mm -hmm. You can add. I don't think so. Oh. Burn. Oh. Kyu? Ab kya kya bhai sab? Kuch nahi. Message aaya tha. That he'll be late for dinner. Ye to uski purani aadat hai. Always messing up our plans. At the last moment. Actually, he's always there for your birthday. Or will be on time. Jab time par aana chahiye, hamesha late ho jata hai. Aur jis din late hona tha, usi din janaab ko time pe tapak. How is it? Is this talking about his birth? Oh, wow. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, roti banana? Eat roti josh kasaat white rice. So, I'll make raita banana. It's in the fridge. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Oh, God, I'm getting hungry. Oh, that looks super tasty. Is that a fish? I think it's lamb, maybe. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh, huh. Look what you've done. So, you're about to say that you're going to be a good one. Good one, you know, Vijay. Two minutes extra, you're going to say good one. Two minutes, me, Admi ki jan jasakti. Vese bi, two minutes, se jan bach bi to sakti. <laughs> mother likes some. Um, no value for time. Mm. Oh, did you ever cry to say to put up any kitchen in Matagro? For your information, ye to put any ye. And by the way, Mr. Vijay Kapoor. ये तुम्हारे ताज होटल का किचन नहीं है। This is my kitchen और यहाँ का हेड शेफ मैं हूँ, not you. All okay? Vijay, such a stickler for time. दो-दो मिनट से उनको लगता है कि उनकी रेसिपी खराब हो जाएगी। 
बट सच कहो इज एक्चुअली द बेस्ट शेफ प्रीति जो भी ये कह रही है ना सब गलत है डोंट बिलीव अवर इट हैव यू एवर ट्राइड हिज स्पेशलिटी रोगन जोश आई एम अ वीक एंड एक्चुअली फिर रिमेंबर आप क्यों इतना उछल रहे हो तुम्हारा कौन सा बदले है आज हो तुम तो मुझे दिखे ही नहीं अभी कुछ कहा था तुमने डाली कुछ कहा Perfect arrange. You know, actually, it's called uh, love is blind. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. How are you? Come, come. Ah, come, come. Sit. Ah, look at George. Hi, kya? Ah, ji. Mr. Vijay Kapoor. Where's the Varun? Kid? Hi, sir. Oh, is this a flashback? No, it's not. Where did he come from? That's just later. It flat. Got it got real awkward since he arrived. arrived. No. <coughs> Sorry, everyone, for coming in late. So oh no, no, no. You are absolutely on time, Peter. Sorry, Dad. Oh no, Vijay. It's just two minutes late. Yeah. So you want? Thank you, Uncle. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Tom. If I was married to a vegetarian, I'd be making that mistake every day. <laughs> you want some more chicken? Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. More to me. Yeah. More for me. It's delicious, yeah. Fantastic. Chungu, by the way, you always put it on the table. How did you meet each other? Hmm. Oh, what was that? The last time I was going, I put it on the table. Shut up, Zakir. Zakir. Pretty. How can you tolerate this humor? The same way you do. We met at a mosque for a mosque. A mosque. That's interesting. My husband was saying was there. Uh, and I... uh, sorry, sorry, husband. Ah, uh, I, I know, I know. Badi dub, badi dasta hai. What? I have so many questions. I know. I told you, his ki harkat hai, marwaengi. Wait, hold on. Her husband Mami. died. Mm. Okay, I just, I just want to make sure. I was very intelligent. I understood. Excuse me. मतलब वो टाइम है जो पास ही नहीं होता। Why does he hate him so much? He doesn't hate him. He's just he's got some resentment. वैसे शेफ में प्रॉब्लम क्या? कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है। But you Bawaji spend the entire life in the kitchen. It's so boring. है ना बोलो? जो? इधर भी बोलो। You gynecologists spend your whole life peering into a woman's vagina. हाँ। That is interesting. नहीं जी। Of course, I'm the lucky. Okay, now can we please change the topic, ma? Puruna. Could you please behave? It's okay, it's okay, Preeti. I've been used to this for the past thirty-five years. Ever since Zakir has been my gynecologist, when I had Varun. एक बात बताओ. He treated me very well. बाबी असली बात तो तुमने बताई नहीं. कौन सी? After treating her. I treated him. Hey. Oh, <laughs> right. Why him? Why him? Because he fainted in the delivery room. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. 
I was stressed. I was fatigued. Ah, fatigued. My food. Fatu da. Listen, Vijay Kapoor is not a fatu. I mean, was not a fatu. <laughs> really? Um, Mary, tomato chutney car. Oh. Thank you. Plate for the. To bolay ko yung mga. मुझे लगता है रितिका को दोबारा शादी कर लेनी चाहिए रितिका को दोबारा शादी कर लेनी चाहिए वैसे भी कोई हेल्प लेडी डस्ट टेक गुड केयर ऑफ हर कभी रोल सुनिए तो फादर आई एम सॉरी अगर उस दिन मैं वक्त पे घर आ गया होता तो तुम लोगों को होटल नहीं आना पड़ता डैड बात करना जरूरी है क्या Varun, I'm really happy she's moving on. Really impressed with you. Uh, Zada Mat. Go wash your hands. वैसे हम dying to eat your heart का रोगन जोश. Just give me five minutes. Die, right? I think so. At, at the There's hotel? some sort of tragedy happened. That's being told in a very interesting way. Is it the Mumbai hotel? Well, the Taj is the yeah. No, oh, they said the Taj. Yeah, okay. he works at the Taj. Okay. He's the head chef there.
आज को लेट आना था उसी दिन मैंने वक्त लेट्स फॉरगेट अबाउट इट हम लोग यहां विजय कपूर का रोगन जोश खा लिया See, they all died. Yeah, they all died. They're all ghosts. They're there for the anniversary or something. Oh man, mm. that was intense. Wow, that was now those references really cool. about two minutes and the importance of two minutes at the very beginning makes sense, huh? Yeah. That was interesting. I, I was like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I guess I was putting it together as, I was getting excited because I was like, wait, are they the ghost? Who's the ghost? She's not the ghost. Because they all saw her come in and so my first assumption was that they were the ghosts because yeah. when she was setting the table, they mm -hmm. weren't there anymore. I wasn't sure like who the victim was initially. Yeah, because I thought that maybe she and the kid, maybe something had happened to them. Right. And it all well, that's, that's, sense. Yeah, you're yeah. supposed to assume that. It was deliberately misdirecting you. Well, that was really interesting. I mean, I got so caught up in the editing and the stylization of it, I got kind of distracted from what I was supposed to feel, which was the emotional impact of it. Normally, I think what you would deal with are people who are um, living the fallout of that event. Mm -hmm. Like people who survived the, mm -hmm. that event, not necessarily the ghosts. Like I could only imagine a film being made today about the ghosts of September 11th. That'd be nuts. To do a film about the ghosts of these people who, who were victims in the attack, that's crazy. I mean, it's such an interesting take on it, right? To kind of make it into a smaller story. And I kind of mm -hmm. like that. We're following the chef and it's it seems to be, you know, a very mundane thing. He's cooking, mm -hmm. it's his birthday. It's like very everyday, very normal. And then all of a sudden it just switches on you and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. This was about this huge tragedy that happened mm -hmm. right. on a large scale. I just didn't see that coming and it kind of affects you in a very different way just like yeah. I feel like it was very cleverly put together how it starts with like little conflicts in the family and them picking on each other and each other's habits and this and that and all those references about two minutes in time the importance of time it doesn't really, like really register with you you as you watch it you try to figure out what is it and then as the Sun comes in you think that there is something important that he has to say and maybe there is something else that but like you don't think about it as being a tragedy and the, the terrorists they, they mm -hmm. came at the same time when it reveals at the very end it's like such a shocking thing for me it became obvious when you know she walks in and her husband and the child and you're like ah yeah but it's almost like it makes you falsely believe that like it's building up to being something else mm -hmm. but at the same time all those dialogues i feel like they were just so cleverly written it's just like those small things that people are picking on each other like mm -hmm. little, teeny little habits that you only know mm -hmm. if you live with someone for so long so it's very special as soon as they said hotel mm -hmm. i suspected it was dealing yeah. with a tragedy i yeah. was like okay yeah, someone yeah, died yeah, yeah. i don't know who it is it just started to connect after the fact mm -hmm. because they're saying oh she, she moved on and you're seeing her with her new husband that she moved on with i was like wait hold up did she rudely come in the house yeah. with her I new know. husband but it's like, obvious why would you why would you do but she completely <laughs> she, ignored she, them no, she yeah. doesn't but she, yeah obviously yeah. Because, like, they are not there. But this is also dealing with something interesting that a lot of people like to talk about when you're dealing with the supernatural, ghosts, the afterlife, and all that stuff, mm -hmm. which is 
a, a lot of, I mean, I don't know anything about this really, but it's it's all been kind of like a cursory interest in, in this subject, but these ghosts with unfinished business often yeah. get stuck in this kind of loop of right. being in that same area yeah. over and over and over again. Repeating the same action, the same thing. Energy being kind of trapped there. It's usually related to a traumatic event. Mm -hmm. Obviously that was a traumatic event, no question there. And so the, all these people kind of got stuck there. It's dealing with those two minutes. I think about that kind of thing sometimes. Like just the other day, I mean, this is unrelated to this, but just the other day I was leaving in a mad dash and I saw a car coming. And obviously we drive on opposite sides from India because we, we're on the right. How do you explain that? Yeah, we're, it's on, the the right, we're on the right side. Yeah, yeah we're on the opposite side. So uh, I'm seeing a car coming quick and I don't want to wait because I, I hate waiting. And so I go out to make a left and there's a car coming this way I didn't see because there was a truck blocking my view. Had I departed from that, a second later, I would have he would have T-boned me, and then that car would have hit me too. And so that was like my, my little moment of of something saying to me, "Hey, slow down, Jabby Koe. Like you don't need to hurry so much." It's like literally two seconds would have made all the difference. That would have ruined my month because then my car would have been totaled, yep. and I got to go get that taken care of, get a new car, and all the stuff that's involved with that. Or you know, something even worse could have happened to me. Yeah. You know, I could have been majorly injured or worse. And like, God forbid, two seconds could have made a difference. And so them emphasizing the two minutes thing is something that deeply resonates with me because I'm like, yeah, two minutes could make a world of a difference. Like mm -hmm. you could be alive or, or not, you yeah. know? Like you just don't know what you might miss or encounter or, or avoid because of those two minutes or two seconds, yeah. or whatever the case may be. What I really liked as well was that they didn't handhold the audience. No, not at all. Yeah, because yeah. we're thrown right away in the middle of a conversation. Mm -hmm. They have so much subtext. We don't know any of the history of these characters apart from like, okay, that's a husband, that's a wife, they have a son, mm -hmm. these are their friends. There's no history and we're just kind of filling in the gaps as we go and that was very interesting. I really liked their sound design mm -hmm. because throughout most of it, when it's just them, the ghosts, right, it's silence. And at first exactly, I was like, yeah. There's no background music. This is kind of weird. Oh, yeah, and I like it the music. felt, it felt yeah. kind of slow. And then they mm -hmm. brought in the music during the climax. Mm -hmm. And then you had like the ticking of the clock mm -hmm. to show the passing of time. The three of them are sitting at the table and it's like they've moved yeah. on, you know? That's so interesting that you noticed that because I feel like we, especially with Hollywood and all those big budget movies, we are almost pre programmed to expect some kind of a sound or background music. Yeah to always be there, even if it's like a quiet moment that does not really require any music, we still expect something and silence makes us feel awkward even though silence is such a powerful instrument when it comes to filmmaking and I think that they really nailed it. Just the lack of any sound, it produces such a huge emotional impact on you if it's used cleverly. Another thing is like yeah, obviously the whole point of the centerpiece of the story is the terrorist attack and this mm -hmm. horrible uh, thing that happened. There is not a single mention of it. There is no like physical depiction of violence and mm -hmm. like I cannot really think about movies about such events that don't overtly show it to you. Yeah. 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 So it just almost like we learn about it through other things and, and yeah. very, very what's very, not being spoken. Uh, it's like emotional jazz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the selection of, of music to emphasize that moment of revelation. Mm -hmm. The thing I didn't like and I, I hate this every time they do it, whether it's a film or a short film, is the credits being shown prematurely. I, mm. I really didn't like that. Yeah. I wish they just like let the film conclude and then show the credits after the fact. Because I feel like it just mildly subtracted from the emotional yeah. impact that it would have had on me. Because it was compounded. Like I was caught up in the, the coolness of it, yeah. and then the credits came, and then that distracted me further. Yeah, because yeah, then you're like, oh, it's it's over now. And then, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. There's, oh, and then there's some more. I like the actors. We haven't even talked about them. Like, yeah. obviously, they did a wonderful job because they just we got kind of pulled into the drama and the subtext of it all. I really like that there's so much subtext in the short film. Uh, that's such a big part of actual dialogue. I mean, to think that ghosts are having like, that kind of dialogue is also interesting in itself. But <laughs> it's just very real that you that not everything is overtly spoken. There's a lot that's unspoken, and that's how people actually talk. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's nothing more frustrating than when everything is on the surface and everything is spoken like up here, because there's a lot in that iceberg beneath the water that's yeah. that's right. not being said, that's being conveyed. And I thought that did a great job with that. And this also did a great job with making me really hungry. So I, <laughs> I, could, sure. I could hear Max's stomach at, at a certain point when they were like 
passing bread, I heard her going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need bread. Yeah. Oh, Mike, yeah. it gives yeah. me. Yeah. I thought that it was really neat that they made um, each character interesting and like unique. Something to like one distinctive feature because it's a short. You know, you cannot really go through development of the characters, right. but they seemed very well-rounded. Yeah, and yeah. complete and full, and with their story, with their quirks, with something interesting and you have this conversation of just five people but it's interesting to watch yeah just in the space of what 10 minutes or something right uh so. 17 but yes thanks so much for hanging out with us thank you again to large short films for allowing us to react to this very very much appreciated this was moving and interesting i thought it was well told and i look forward to more to watching more of uh your short films <laughs> Because uh, they're always amazing. They're always great. Like yeah. they're always just well told. They're on the same quality, on, on the same par as a th actual theatrical film. And yeah. sometimes you get a more interesting story out of it because they don't have to adhere to a particular demographic. They can just freely tell the story that they want to tell within the time span that they want to tell. It. There's no specific time frame they have to adhere to or, or whatever. Like there's no there's less rules that they have to deal with. So I just really dig it. I thought it was it was cool. There's a lot of nuances in here that we didn't even get to talk about that I, I thought were, were great. Like Legacy was one that we didn't talk about. Thank you again. Uh, be sure to check out Max Reeves on the social media. Check out Achara Kirk and Jabby Coy if you feel like doing that. Uh, follow Instagram, Twitter, all those things. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I am Jabby Coy. This is Max Reeves and Achara Kirk. Peace out.